Hey folks, Papa Boris here, playing some more Hunt Down. Let's see if we can 100% the third level of the Heat Seekers, the Overseer. This level, in my opinion, is easier than the previous level, which I guess follows from the fact that I said I thought the last level was the hardest level in the game. But we'll see. So there's a machine gun here. You can hide behind these cars here and have them shoot at you, but it's easier if you just jump up and get the drop on them. Over here, we got a little tricky sequence. There's a homing... homing rocket guy, and you can use these grenades on him if you want to. And then on the other side of that barrel, there is a machine gun guy. You can hide behind this box. This box has infinite bullets, or uh, infinite health. So... You don't have to use grenades or any special techniques. You can also jump... Actually, can you? I don't know. No, you can't jump up there and get the drop on him, but yeah. Luckily, infinite health box is the ticket. This is a good section up here for Old Painless. There's just a bunch of guys to mow down. Very fun. Oh, that guy. Don't miss the stash up here. You can remember there's a stash when you see the H. Gruber rentals and tuning. Nice reference. And then we have a tricky section here. Um, I'm not gonna pick up these remote charges because there's gonna be a chase down stash in a second and I really want the knives for that. Make sure you blow up this container because that has another thumper with 10 so there's a thumper with 10 down here and then another thumper with 10 there now, this is a tricky section there's gonna be a chase stash and the guy holding the chase stash or the lady is right in front of a machine gunner so if you don't kill him fast or them or her fast I forget which one it is then you end up having to chase through a machine gunner to get it so you have to be very precise so what I'm gonna do is throw the knives and then shoot a thumper shot and that should get it. If it doesn't get it, we gotta restart the level. Yep, there's the stash. Okay, phew. I'm not gonna pick up the machine gun here. I don't remember, but I don't think this next section is particularly great for a machine gun. So we'll just use the thumper. I'm not gonna worry about saving thumper bullets. Oopsies. I forgot that that one shoots bullets. Not gonna worry about saving the thumper bullets because we're gonna be picking up a rocket launcher in a second. And this is a little bit of a tricky section. If you're not careful here, you can run into some trouble. There's this guy. Okay. Make sure you pop on up here to get the rocket launcher. I, I guess I'll do that after I make sure everything is dead. No more surprise pop outs. Okay. Now the rocket launcher, the reason for that, even though there was more ammo for the thumper, so why would I pick up a rocket launcher? It, there's actually a very difficult section coming up here that I have died on many times. And what happens here is there is this car and there's gonna be a sniper shooting across the screen. But the car, if you hide behind it, will eventually explode. So what I like to do is use the rocket launcher to take out the sniper. So when I, I'll wait for the red line to appear, and then I'll fire a rocket at the sniper. Then I'm going to jump up here and hit the homing. Oh my gosh, almost died there. Uh, I need. I, I, there's also a guy right here shooting homing rockets, so you, the rocket launcher is effective for taking him out in one blow as well. Okay. Now up here is a cluster grenade. Oh my gosh. I gotta be very careful because I'm at one HP. Is there some health back here I didn't take? Oh, it's, it's, it's actually in the section that was before this checkpoint. There's some health here. So I'm gonna grab this health before I deal with Madame Jetpack. Oof. Okay. I mean, I had two health, so I could have gotten hit there. It would have been okay, but I didn't want to take any chances. Oh, there's health right here, but I was I was afraid of the jetpack, so I didn't get it. Okay, yeah, so like I said, a tricky section all around. Sniper, a, a car for cover that blows up, homing rockets, jetpack, you know, cars running around the ground. The works. 
I'll pick up the remote charges because eventually we're going to need remote charges for the boss. Oopsie. It does mean that I am not going to have access to um, my knives. I don't remember if there's anything useful in these crates that are all sparkly. I'll blow them up just in case with this cluster bomb that I'm not using. Oh, old painless. Uh, I don't think the next section is that good for it. I could be wrong, so we'll just leave it sitting there. You can send those explosives down if you're better at timing things than I am. And have it fall down on the vehicle and kill it. I am not going to worry about being fast here. I'm just going to prioritize being careful. I'm also going to... Oof, that, that really rushes at you. I've got more hanging explosives there. Any more vehicles? Oh, really? Oh, wow. That was awesome. Okay. So perhaps this might be seen as being overly cautious. I have seven remote charges at this point. I could have just used some on these vehicles. The boss is a weird boss fight where you basically need to use remote charges to kill him. It's like it's like a fight that's, oh my god. It's a fight that is all about using remote charges. Oh my god. Um, but I have so many, and there are some in the boss fight itself, so it's, um, it's not like something where you have to hoard the remote charges. Oopsies. Okay, down to 1 HP, so I need to be a little bit cautious. Okay. Yeah, th this level, you know, it's tricky here. It's not to be underestimated. It's just, in my opinion, still not as hard as the previous level where, like, every single section was an ordeal. This one, you know, it's just this ending here that's a little bit tricky. Um, what am I going to take? I think I'm going to grab the carbine. Because if I remember correctly, there were some carbine bullets over here. And then we are ready to take on the boss. Note that I'm missing some kills, but that's fine. There are at least four adds in the final boss fight. I'll also mention what to do if you're at fewer than 61 kills. There, I don't know, I don't remember how many ads there are. There might be more than four. Okay, so this boss fight, you set a remote charge, and then if this guy drives on the same level as it or the level below, then you just blow it up when he drives over it or past it. Green lights light up at the door before a car comes out. And you just keep doing this until he dies. Now eventually what starts happening is these cars come out. Those cars do nothing other than hurt you if they run into you. You don't need to kill them. However, if you are short on kills for the killer achievement, then you can kill some of these cars with your remote charges for some extra kills. If you stand in the same plane as that overseer boss drives off, he will shoot some bullets behind his back. So you gotta be careful of that. The real easy way to do this is just get all your damage done with these remote charges. So I like to put it on the bottom. That way if he comes through the bottom or the middle, I hurt him. Let me see, I need two more kills. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blow up that car. Notice now that I went from 63 to 64. So I don't want to take any chances. I want to make sure I get the killer achievement. Probably, oh gosh, there's going to be, um, there's probably going to, oh god, I forgot my own rule about him throwing, shooting bolts behind his head. Probably there's going to be some more ads to pop out, but I'm not going to worry about it. Notice I'm keeping my gun, oh, I ran out of charges, okay. I guess you do need a lot of remote charges, or at least you need them if you're going to use some to kill extra cars. And you can sometimes, if you're positioned correctly, get two at once. Oh god, I did not see that guy there. Okay, so there's a car coming out of here. Duck that. I'm gonna pick up the rocket launcher here. 
this can be a useful way to get some extra damage. Basically, you can like duck behind him, shoot a rocket, and then duck back out. And so now one more remote charge will do it. Or rocket shot? No, he snuck into the hole before I could get him with the rocket. Barf. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.